Um, I have an example here. Um, this is actually not a burn patient, uh, but someone with a different wound. Um, this is kind of an extreme example. If you look at this culture plate, um, it's totally covered with bacteria. You couldn't count a colony on it. It's just confluent. Following plate is still pretty heavily grown. This one, you're starting to see individual organisms on it. And on this plate, there are actually six different kinds of organisms in varying, varying amounts. And when I did the calculation on this one, this uh, patient has 10 to the eighth to 10 to the sixth of those various organisms. Um, what we will do is identify them. Uh, if they need antibiotic sensitivities, they go to the main lab because our lab isn't large enough to have all the equipment um, and reagents that you need to do to do the antibiotic sensitivities. We do do topical sensitivities, which is a very basic but helpful helpful test. Um, this organism is a Pseudomonas, which is a uh, frequent pathogen found in wounds. Um, you, as you can see, it's green. It produces a uh, dye, a fluorescent dye, and actually we'll have nurses bring in specimens and they'll say, I think this patient has Pseudomonas and you can actually see the green in the wound. Um, you'll see just zones of clear, not green, not growth around these different reagents. And what this actually is, is we inoculate the plate with the organism, we cut holes into the auger, and then we introduce into the holes uh, the different topical agents, um, like silvidine and sulfamylon, as if you were putting neosporin on a cut that you had. Um, and then if it doesn't grow around that reagent, then you know that it's sensitive and it's a good way to treat